I'm seeing a lot of positive vibes in the chat. Maybe today is the day. Imagine it's today. I would, I would love that. It would be really nice. I will say, I just recorded what's going to be tomorrow's video, or most of it. I'm probably going to go back and see if I can hunt a little bit more. But it was Reventuli and Verhunga. Still looking for the diamonds that we're yet to find. And that, on top of the Great One grind, it just feels like there's so much going on. And suddenly, time's flying. Like, we're darn near the middle of May. I just want to get something crossed off the list. feel like we're getting some progress made. What is your favorite gun? You know, honestly, it's kind of been the 300 for a while, but with the customization that came with the, uh, I think it's the Hirschfelden pack and the Easter pack, the Beechwood and then the Nitride Metal, it just makes it look really, really sleek. I'm a big fan of how that looks. Mel, thank you for the 20 months. I've had my turn with the luck. Take it. It's yours. All right. I will take it and uh, I will run. Wow. There he is. <laughs> A level two. I guess we'll smoke that. What a good way to start. What's up, pizza? How'd your screen go? Smoked. All right, at least we can do that. 17 animal spotted is going to be the one. I always... I, I think about how, like, finding a great one on stream would go. Because I'm curious as to how I re would react. Because I just don't know. But then on a you know, scheduled two hour stream. If we would find it early on, I don't know what we do for the remainder. I guess go to Reventuli or something, or maybe Black Bear. Stream went well, five star muley, nice. I do need to get back to Nis Purse. Hopefully we're gonna do that like during the week this week. This week's gonna be weird because, well, actually it's just gonna be an extra video though. So Friday's gonna be like the eight year anniversary of this channel, or at least of like making consistent content on the channel. I always try to explain, but in September of 2014, I made a little content, then stopped. May 12th of 2015 is when I really got going. So there's going to be an extra classic video on Friday for that, because that's what I always do. And hopefully before that, we get to do Wayland Hunter. I hate that it always ends up being a weekend thing, because then it's like one video. Uh, what did that say? Gadgetator? Am I saying that right? Thank you for the super chat. I just lost all my data level 60 to 7. Man, that sucks. Hopefully, wow. Found some of our memes. Hopefully you can uh, enjoy the like leveling up process. You should at least hold on to your DLCs, right? Because that might kind of help you out if you've got some of the different weapon packs. Okay, that I think is going to be three. The level two I'm unsure about. Now we got him in the lung too. And we were close enough to them that the multiple shots spooked him, but... I don't know, we may need... Another tent here, and of course I'm not carrying tents today, but that's worth looking into. It is always funny when, like, they move locations. Always makes me wonder, but I think we got into this the last time a little bit and just hadn't found all the spots. I feel like your luck would be you spot in the most inconvenient place. I mean, look at the Great One Red Deer. That was like on the river, a place we never hunt. It made it definitely more challenging to get with a bow. It worked out in the end, but certainly could have been in a more favorable place. Uh, how can I make the fastest money in the Hunter Classic? I'm gonna do a beginner series in Classic, and hopefully I can start it like next week. There's always something going on lately. Events, and then the anniversary video I was talking about. Um, man, I would probably say, I think Magpie Geese make the most GM, like say, per hour or whatever. But if you don't have a setup for that, then that's kind of difficult. What I would do is do missions. There are, I think like forum posts. And honestly, what you could do is just join my discord and ask. Uh, I know there's like spreadsheets and stuff put together of like which missions to do in which order and then what items to buy. Because what will happen is like you do the first, I don't know, five mule deer missions. And then it's like, I don't know, shoot a mule deer with a gun you don't have. Just to simplify. So then... What you'll do is move to like whitetail missions and do those and then I don't know feral hog or whatever You'll get to a point where you need a certain weapon for multiple missions And that's what you're gonna want to buy but that's already been done like the information is out there If you want to go and find that that's probably what will make you the most money at the beginning at least How can I get my skills and perks up fast well uh, leveling up is obviously gonna be the best way to do that if you're looking to get a lot of XP and cash and stuff, I'd go to Te Aroa, shoot every fallow deer and red deer you see, and everything else that's there, but 
those two species in particular, you can get a ton of them. It doesn't require like a lot of effort, I'm going to say. That map is pretty loaded. And the nice thing is too, those species, you tend to get a lot of diamonds. So you're pretty likely to run into something pretty special while you're doing it. Have you ever seen Tim Wells before? I have quite literally seen Tim Wells. I got to speak to him a little bit at the ATA show. He is incredibly down to earth. I was so like, because he does have a huge YouTube channel. I believe he's been on the outdoor channel and stuff. So if he was like, you know, I don't know you, I don't want to talk to you. I wouldn't have been like offended, but he was like super cool. TK was talking to him because they had some kind of previous interaction and he like legit, he was like, hey, what's your name? Like, you know, include me in the conversation. It was very cool. Are there tiger musky in the angler? No, I'm hoping they add them. That's another thing, and I, I one of these days I'm going to do like a wish list for the angler, because I think that could be fun. But, we've got legendary fish, right? I think legendaries of species that aren't in the game, or even like hybrids, if that's a thing, could be a really cool way to like add some variety. Because, you know, we've got pike, just throw a legendary musky in there. They're, they're close, you've got the models a little bit, you got to scale them up and all that. But... Those sorts of things, I think, would be a good way for them to add a species without having to do a ton of different models and animations and all that. Uh, how did you practice follow-up shots? I keep missing them in my whitetail grind. I don't know that I did ever practice them. It was just, you know, grinding and getting used to it. It definitely takes time, and I feel like I was almost forced to get a little bit better at it by the moose because they flee so much faster than other species. Now, that was not a good example of it because he kind of turned and gave us more time to shoot, but... Prior to the moose grind, and there was an update that kind of made moose flee a little bit faster. You just had so much time to get the shots off, and now it's everything. It's not just moose. Like, whitetail flee faster. I think everything flees faster, really. Love your content? Thank you, Gregory. Join Floob's Discord. That's where the party is. It's true. Would recommend. Tiger musky, tiger trout, and splake are all cool-looking hybrids? I don't know the last one. What is, what is the two... Uh, species. Caught a 15 pound walleye yesterday. Oh, dude, nice. I've never caught a walleye. I've... We were camping at the uh, Allegheny Reservoir. It's like three hours from here or so. And I think we were still in school, my brother and I. So my cousins went earlier. It was like, I don't know, there were like 10, 12 of us. A bunch of people went. And they were catching a bunch of walleye. But I can't remember the situation. There was a bunch of rain and then they like closed off or, or maybe they opened something to where like the creeks running into the reservoir filled it up way faster and I mean it was gaining feet by the day so it got so high it just wasn't like we weren't catching anything so we, we missed out on good walleye fishing but my cousin did make beer battered walleye with what he got and it was fantastic brook trout lake trout hybrid I'm going to have to look them up, because I can only imagine the patterns. That's got to be amazing. That was another thing. I don't know if B's going to end up showing up here today. A lot of times he's busy during the streams. But Saturday, we went trout fishing together, caught some natives on flies. It was very fun. I technically caught my first several fish on, or, or several trout on dry flies. I've caught a lot of creek chubs on dry flies. But it was a dropper rig, so like it's got a nymph on it. But they hit the flies, so if the dropper rig wasn't there, it wouldn't have mattered. I don't know. I think it's cool. Is the angler worth it? If you can get it on sale for probably, what is it, like 40 bucks? Or 35 maybe? I would say if you can get it on sale for in the area of 20, it's getting to the point where it probably is worth it. Like legendaries and stuff do add some replayability. I can see improvement happening with some of the interaction with fish, some of the rod physics and stuff, though that definitely needs cleaned up. Animations, just a bunch of stuff has been cleaned up, but it's got a long way to go, so I still think it needs to to be truly worth your money, unless you're just super into fishing games, because there is a very dedicated community to the game too that just love it. Uh, but anyway, if you're maybe not like super into fishing games and stuff and you just want to try it out, I'd, I'd wait for a sale. How do you deal with burnout? It's not an issue I run into much anymore because I do play, you know, enough different games. We've got Farming Sim on Sundays, which I didn't get to stream yesterday, which bummed me out. Uh, we've got The Hunter Call of the Wild, The Hunter Classic, Way the Hunter, we're just kind of constantly rotating through games and that helps to avoid it but 
when Call of the Wild was basically the only game, if not the only game I was playing, there was at least like a three month stretch where I didn't play Classic, so that would have been nothing but Call of the Wild. The biggest thing is just take days away from it. Just what I used to play like a lot of was Rocket League. I would just take a day, do that, you know, record an extra video the day before so I wasn't missing on content or whatever, and just do something else. For me, that's the only thing that ever worked. Just play a game that's a different pace, and then when you come back to it, it feels kind of fresh. I was hoping to get out, like, this evening, Bottom Boy. I think we're going to maybe end up going tomorrow. But I was telling my dad about this excursion, and he has... It's an older, like, Fenwick fly rod, and by older, I mean probably, like, 40 years old. And he's he doesn't do much fishing anymore. I don't know that he could do much fly fishing because his back's so bad. Because there is a lot of, like, you know, back muscle and stuff involved in different techniques and everything. So anyway, he gave me his fly rod to use, not like, you know, here, have this forever. But I'm mucho excited to use that. It's going to be much better for the fish in this creek. Coming fishing? All right. Repaint the bridge while you're here. Uh, power off in one hour. Gonna go soon. No worries, man. Appreciate you jumping in. What's up, Alex? Is it worth buying maps or just playing multiplayer? Honestly, I would say it's just, just play multiplayer. Because for the most part, you know, a lot of people own the DLCs. You're usually fine if you join a server. If you don't know, um, let's say that I'm hosting a multiplayer game and I'm the only person in that server that owns the DLC. If I then leave, the server will close down in 15 minutes if no one else that owns the DLC joins. Um, but that's not an issue that a lot of people, I think, run into. For the most part, people own the DLC and you're good to go. The only reason I wouldn't recommend just doing that is that multiplayer is pretty unstable at the moment. Lots of crashes, lots of, you know, desyncing, fail to synchronize errors, all those sorts of things. And I think that can just kind of ruin the experience. So at least maps you really like, I'd, I'd buy it. Anything cool? Nothing yet, Reinhardt. Just getting going, though. Multiplayer has lots of hackers? <sighs> yeah, it does. I just don't run into them anymore. Like, I see the screenshots. I know Mel just ran into a couple more recently. For whatever reason, I don't tend to find many hackers anymore. I used to, but I also don't play the amount of multiplayer I used to, so it could just be that. I see speed hackers all the time. There could be more speed hackers and stuff than I realize. I don't even pay attention to what other people do. Other than, as, as evidenced by the fact that that pronghorn almost got stolen. Not even stolen, like, I just didn't know the guy was there. I believe, well, actually, looking back, he joined the game as I was harvesting my other pronghorn. So, like, I was in the process of, like, tracking it. But also, he didn't know I was after it. I didn't know he was after it. It was a big, <laughs> a big mess, but ended up making for a cool video. I heard of Great One Whitetail? Hack server. Nah, they're just herd managed. <laughs> What's up, Rylan? I've got all the great ones. I know, Pizza. I'm such a hacker with my two great ones. All those great one bears I didn't get. Uh, I just killed an albino turkey. Nice. They're all over the place. If you hold down escape in a multiplayer lobby, there'll be at least one person above level 60. Mine's I, I think, but most of the times I don't, I do check that and I don't tend to see a lot of high levels anymore. I used to see it. What I think people just hide it because they know that it outs them as a modder or a hacker. It could be that. What's different about Way the Hunter versus Call of the Wild? Way the Hunter is going to require a lot more patience, at least to get the trophy animals. If you want to just kill literally everything you see in Way the Hunter, you're likely to be less successful in terms of trophies because you've got the genetic factor and aging factor, so... As far as the amount of animals you can kill per hour, I would say it's almost the same. There's zones in both games, you can kind of hop around to locations, all that stuff. But because you're often waiting on certain animals to reach 5 star, or, or even like waiting on rares to reach their maximum age, that kind of slows you down a Way the Hunter and does require you to just take your time with stuff. Call the Wild, it's faster paced. A lot of times it's kind of described as arcadey. I think that's a fair description of it, and I wouldn't even say there's anything wrong with that. Obviously, it's become the most popular hunting game out there ever for a good reason. Part of it's the pace, part of it's also the accessibility. 
I should note Way the Hunter is only available on the new gen consoles and PC, which does kind of, you know, exclude some anyway. Did any of those shots hit a lung? I just realized the first one hadn't. Excellent shooting here. Oh my goodness. I think the last one hit. He's gonna die, but could have saved us a lot of tracking. For me, grinding Weight Hunter is easier, especially because of the diamond drill. Easier. Easier to get trophies, I guess you're saying, right? Weight Hunter has the buggy, which is a very viable lethal weapon. Honestly, I love when we're on stream and somebody either does like the weapon switch and has me use the buggy or whatever because it's so fun to just like fly around in that thing. Most popular hunting game is Duck Hunt. It maybe has the most all time players. It could be that. Are you at Cabela's playing Deer Hunter? I wish I was. This new zone stuff is hard to get used to. I don't really know what triggered it because it seemed to happen while I was away. Like I came back and the first run we did moose were in all kinds of new locations. There may have been an update, like that's definitely a possibility, but I'm not aware of one. Don't walk to where I can't shoot you. I think that's gonna be fine. That was like 2.30 away. Yeah. Alright, we gotta find that one that we pump full of lead. He should be dead of lead poisoning by now. Great one, Whitetail Jackrabbit. Hey, the day that Great One Whitetail came out, there he is. Uh, we did a stream and didn't find anything. Like, we knew that Great Ones were in the game. I was, I don't even know that I was setting up a Whitetail grind. On some level, I'm sure I was, but I didn't understand what I was doing at all. But I said at the end of that um, stream, basically, like, if I find anything today, I'll make a video on it. And of course I found a diamond jackrabbit, so I made the video called like the not so great one or something like that. Is this the one we just shot? No. I forgot about that one. You're hard. <laughs> You're hard to get used to? Thank you. Did people do grinds before great ones? Not that I'm aware of. Like on some level. I'm sure that even like unintentional grinding was done because there was a, a definite understanding that, you know, shooting an animal gets a respawn of that species and if you're looking for a diamond, if you keep on doing that, eventually the dice roll is going to come up in your favor and you're going to get a diamond. So I would even say like, because Jaxie used to hunt a ton of moose. This is going back to like 2018, I guess. When we would stream together, it was always like, he had that area, what did he call it, Di Diamond Alley? Here on Leighton Lakes? And he would just get like a lot of diamond moose, and I really didn't find out till later, but he was shooting a lot of moose like off stream, and often that would result in a diamond spawning, so... It, I, like, on some level he was grinding moose there. So like, the grinds were done, but not nearly to the degree they are now. How many great ones have you killed? Just two. One red deer, one whitetail. That does not look promising from here. We sound like an old man way back in 2018, back before cell phones. Your daddy and I. Anyway. The only thing annoying about losing my data since I have the DLC is my trophies. I guess if you've restarted, you've confirmed that you've lost your trophies, huh? Because there's a weird thing. When you restart your game, you don't lose your trophies, so I was hopeful that maybe you didn't lose them. I got a red deer when their true axe came out, it took me three months to get one. Yeah, I guess I was... No, that was already after Great Ones came out though. Because, I know that for a fact, because uh, we were doing the white tail Great One grind. And the red deer true axe came out, so we kind of took like a night off of the Great One grind. Went and hunted red deer on parquet on stream. What ended up happening was we killed a diamond red deer really early on. So we went back to Leighton to continue the Great One Whitetail grind and shot a super rare.
Do I need to move the new game button to the bottom of the list? Yeah, it's really not in a good spot. I can imagine, like, on controller, it's only that much worse because you're a misclick away from hitting new game. I think they'd make you confirm, but still, it's not hard to just double click and not pay attention. What could maybe be better is bottom of the list or just like second or third up, so you really have to intentionally go there. Will you ever grind for super rares? No. It's such a low proposition thing to do to begin with, and I guess I want them to continue to be a super rare. You know what I mean? The concept of it, like, I want to be pleasantly surprised, not like, oh, finally I got this. Great ones are enough of a, oh, finally I got this feeling, so. Yeah, I, I don't think that's something I would do. What is the next Call of the Wild update? Good question. Um, I don't know what it is. I would say I've got a decent idea of when it is, just based on Call of the Wild's past uh, release schedule. Now, I do remember Jaxie saying at some stage in the last, like, six to nine months that their schedule has kind of changed up a little bit, but they've kind of still continued with it. So, I'm going to assume we'll see releases kind of at the same pace. And normally, end of June, like June 20th to June 27th, somewhere in there usually, is where the summer map comes out. And, I mean, that's been the case now since 2019. Verhunga was late. Verhunga was, uh, September? And that was the last time that, at least the PC release, because for a while their console was delayed. But that was the last time the PC release didn't come out the basically last week of June. So it's probably not too far away, whatever it ends up being. Slockmaster update with Spears in Africa 2.0? You know, they got Remy Warren in the game. I always wondered if they'd ever add other, you know, popular hunting figures. Maybe that's the way to do it. Any more piebald me? No, speaking of that. <laughs> so, uh, spoilers, since you guys are here for, uh, the stream. The video for tomorrow is going to be Revan Tuli and Verhunga hunting for the couple of diamonds that were missing. And I started the video saying, we're doing an impossible challenge. Try not to shoot a piebald moose. Steve Ranella? That seems like a logical connection. He and, um, whoop, not trying to do that. He and Remy Warren are friends anyway, and he's probably like the biggest, not social media hunter, but Netflix is like almost a new era of hunting content compared to traditional media stuff. And of course, all his stuff's on YouTube too. Is Super Rares the correct term as herd management really boosts the probability? I mean, I, I guess the term should stay because the term only means, you know, a... a rare fur type diamond. I, I understand what you're getting at, but I think it would have to stay. Do you archery hunt turkeys in real life? No, I'd like to. Honestly, I think I'd have killed the one that I'd screwed up last Monday if I had archery equipment, which really makes me sad. I talked about it a couple of times, so to give the cliff notes, I was sick before we went to Georgia, then obviously in Georgia. I didn't get to just do any practicing with my shotgun before I went out, which, you know, typically is fine. It's a shotgun, but Naturally, this bird stopped at like 40 yards and was looking pretty kind of uneasy. So I went for the shot, and I just, I misremembered how I had patterned it last year. And if I just got to practice this year, I think I'd have gotten him. I hit him just low, like right below the neck. So anyway, if I can ever get decent enough to kill a couple with a shotgun and feel like I know what I'm doing, I'd love to archery on him. Why doesn't the link work? Uh, what link? You should hunt feral hogs in real life. I once attempted to do that in Texas, uh, though where we set up and the timing and everything just didn't really work out that well for us. Two pies and four diamonds so far on the meat grind? Not too bad. What's your, do you know your kill total? Keep seeing everyone posting turkey trophies and I'm so jelly I want to hunt so bad. Turkeys are a lot of fun. They can be incredibly frustrating, especially when you do everything right and still don't get them. Uh, everything right except make the shot, I guess. But, I mean, there truly is nothing like hearing them gobble in the distance, and then as you're calling, like, you know, a little closer, a little closer, like, you know they're on their way. It's, it's a feeling unlike any other kind of hunting. Maybe elk hunting could kind of provide that, but it's a little bit of a different 
calling back and forth, if that makes sense. Fantro does indeed hunt in real life? Indeed. You should make fly fishing content. I thought about it, but... I don't know. Maybe. Just got off school, what I missed? Nothing too special. This is the best spot that we've been to so far. Got two nice level fours and a couple of small guys, but we'll definitely try to get the fours first, and if we can then get an additional one, we shall. So let's go... Let me see where this cow stops. Gonna block a little of his vitals, but hopefully we can do it. I don't know what happened. I know that sunk kind of into his chest, but I'm not sure where. That was him, wasn't it? I thought I saw him go through there. Oh, there he is. Uh, that's probably not a good sign. Not dying. He's hit, though. So an additional hit will kill him. We may just spend the rest of this drink time tracking, which is okay. When you say, I've seen underscore trophies posted, where do you see stuff posted? Is there a Call of the Wild platform to post kills? Uh, I believe Mel's talking about like real life uh, like photos and stuff. Which, both those and Call of the Wild photos can be posted in my Discord, which I'm guessing is at least where some of those are coming from. Not exactly close to 600. Those aren't bad numbers, man. Not at all. Ever go dove hunting in real life? Sorta. <laughs> My, well, I have done it with shotguns a little bit, but never the way that it's typically done. Like, I've never just sat on a field edge or in like a location with or without decoys and just shot ones to fly over. What I've done is walk down the edges of cornfields, which kind of will flush them and I've shot them that way. Mostly what I did though, like I only got one or two with a shotgun. Mostly what I did, like, me and my friend would just, like, sneak down cornfield rows with our pellet guns. And if we could catch them, like, 30 yards in front of us, not have them flown away, we'd plink them like that. We had, like, what we, we called them, like, dove competitions. And we were, I don't know, 13, so it was just a $1 bet every year. But it was whoever could kill the most doves with the pellet gun. It was good times. Wait, the Reddit not having pictures anymore is ruining the sun? Can you not post pictures on Reddit now? Have you ever went duck hunting in real life? I haven't. It's something I want to do. I've been, like, invited, but it's always a time where I'm not able to go. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I also don't have the proper licensing to do that. You need, like, a waterfowl stamp or whatever, right? Well, I guess it depends on what state. Got two rare black bears? Not bad. Where is Z-Blood? Okay, that'll be the right one. Uh, why can't you shoot pheasants on the ground? I think the idea is that it's, like, not sporting. It's... What would you compare it to? Kind of like shooting a deer that's bedded. Or maybe... I don't know if I can come up with a better example. Like, often... Hunters just won't shoot a bed of deer because it's kind of unsportsmanlike a little bit. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it if you've done it, but that's the closest comparison I can draw. Like, they want you to hunt them the way they're meant to be hunted, kind of. Like shooting a tom in the roost? Yeah, it's not a bad, bad comparison because it's legal, right? At least in some places. But most people won't do it because, I mean, yeah, like... That's not overly difficult. They won't really go anywhere unless you run at them. Like, if you just sneak up underneath the roost, they can know you're there. They're not going to fly away. Uh, Frank Hansen, thank you for becoming a Shusty. I certainly appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. If you are not in the Discord, be sure to join that. Link up your YouTube and get the member roll and take advantage of all that good stuff. And enjoy the green name and emojis here in chat. What is going on here? All right, Sir 12, you figure this out. Fishing from a barrel. Pretty, pretty much, yeah. What's your favorite map? I think it's Leighton Lakes. There's definitely, you know, maps I hunt more, but Leighton Lakes has also existed for more than seven years, so we've spent a lot of time here and seen a lot of what this map has to offer. But it's the reason that we're doing the moose grind here. 
I think I could go back to Medved. I, I have a better grasp of like, you know, where to shoot moose, and I've definitely come to understand that it's better to get closer and shoot them than just shoot them from 300 meters away, which I've always done on any grind. But the moose grind was getting very old for me very quickly, and coming to Leighton kind of refreshed it because I just enjoy the map. I like being here. Duck stamps like 30 bucks? That's not terrible. What's up, Zach? What do you think about the New England Mountains DLC? It ended up being a disappointment for me, and I really, like, I genuinely thought when I first got on it, obviously no new species outside of green winged teal, but it just felt like it was going to be a fun map to hunt later on. Like, it had the combinations of species. It had moose, so there's, you know, new great one moose that just come out. It had whitetail if you want to grind for them. Or, you know, we had a really cool melanistic there, our biggest melanistic whitetail ever. I thought those couple of species are there. If you could do a black bear great one grind on that map if you wanted to. Pheasants are one of my favorites. Quail are cool now, especially with the males making diamonds. It makes a little more sense. And it just, it doesn't gel well. Like, there's really nothing on that map that is the best to hunt there. Like, whitetail, I'd go to Reventuli. Moose, I'd go to probably Reventuli as well, or Leighton or Medved. Black Bear SRP is better. There's just, there's nothing that makes New England stand out, unfortunately. And the map is beautiful. It sucks that that's the case, but every time I go there, I'm like, I could just, I could be more successful elsewhere. Albino Mythical Bobcat. Dang, that's nice. I'd take one of them. Just the same all over. Kinda, yeah. What do you think about Yukon Valley? I'm a huge fan of that map. I do think it could use a new species, and I think doll sheep would fit perfectly. But, the last time they introduced a new species to an existing map was probably Lions to Verhunga in early 2020. Could be wrong about that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the last time that's happened, so I wouldn't say it's likely it occurs. I'm still amazed that the music isn't even a factor in the nostalgia of this map. I <laughs> I really just don't know what it sounds like. What do you think about maybe a caribou gray one? I think that could look cool. Give me like a really wide set set of antlers with monster shovels. Tops sticking every which direction. Put it in velvet too, just why not? Go all out. I'd like it. Uh, Frank Hansen, thank you so much for the super chat as well. Really appreciate it. Can you give a shout out to my son? Thad will make his day absolutely. Hope you're having a good day, Thad, if you're watching the stream right now. I thought I saw another one. Might have been a rock. But I certainly appreciate it, man. What map would you like to get backfilled the most? And what would the animal be? What map would you like to get backfilled the most and what would the animal be? Rancho Pronghorn would have been my prior answer. Backfield has to be something that's already in the game. There's some stuff I think could get added to Layton maybe, but I don't know if there's anything that would be like a favorite. For Hunga wouldn't make sense because there's nothing they could add from the other maps. Uh, let's think here. Boy, I don't know. I can't think of one thing that's already on another map that's a really glaring flaw. For Hunga Greater Kudu, if if I could choose a species that's not in the game, then that would be definitely up there, but as far as backfilling goes, I don't know if that technically would count. Shot a level 9 piebald red deer and it trolled by one point. That's the worst. Uh, Danny, thank you for the super chat. Joke book page 24. All right, that's double 12. I like it. Let's see where you're going there. Uh, I saw some chatter on a Facebook group about a possible clue about the new map. Out of the loop, any new hints? I haven't heard anything. Did they say, like, what it was? Let's, uh, go and reset the time here as we find a joke book. A dad joke book, that is. Oh, 24 has two. Did you hear about the man who misspelled a name on a headstone? He made a grave mistake. 
all sheep on Yukon has to be the answer. Yeah, again, if I can choose one that's not already in the game, that or Greater Kudu. I think Greater Kudu because they were, they felt like they were not omitted, but just like, I don't know, when everybody found out they were Lesser Kudu and not Greater Kudu, it, there was a vibe of like, that was a miss. Like they could have done Greater Kudu, it'd be amazing. Grinding on Layton? Yeah, I actually kind of prefer it. Also, I don't could have come from my stream for all I know, but your profile picture used to be my, uh, alert gif. What am I doing? Go to my trophy lodge. If only I had a great one to go and view there. Could hear Kyla's eyes roll. <laughs> Love your videos. Thank you, Mike. Had a troll diamond that was 0. 0.3 off. When they get that close, it's just like, couldn't you have been a level four or something and not broken my heart? Even throw a bighorn on Yukon if need be, or heck, mountain goats on Yukon? I could live with mountain goats on Yukon. I'd prefer something new. I do like the mountain goats a lot. When, what the heck was that for? Was it trying to get a diamond with the inline, I think? And then the video never happened because my mic was muted from a stream and I just didn't know it. Or I think maybe the mic was, uh, the cord had come disconnected or something? Anyway. Yeah, so it never even got to be in a video, but I found... A level 5 mountain goat. It was the one common fur type that we had never killed a diamond of. Made the shot with the inline, I was huge hyped, and he trolled by some small margin. I was really excited to get another diamond mountain goat, especially with the inline, the way that it all went down, but... It is what it is. Are melanistic mallards rare? They're more rare than they used to be. I don't know that I would call them rare, per se. At least not up there with, like, mammal rares, if that makes sense. Wouldn't mind Sitka Blacktail on Yukon. Yeah, it's not the perfect fit, but like, you know, fudge a little bit, it'll be alright. What would you like to see added to New England? Oh boy. Anything? Not not an existing species being backfilled? Let me think. No, I, I wasn't, that wasn't my answer I was asking. To anything, please. Give us something that's not recycled. <laughs> That moose looks thick. Imagine ah, that's not a great one. It's not very big. I have noticed that, and it's something that I'm really hoping to get to see. Every time someone posts a screenshot of their great one, like, on the hoof, I can just, you can see how much bigger those moose are. It's incredible. I love that they're doing that with the models. Anyway. What the heck fits in New England that's not there? They've got about all the, hello. About all the, uh, you know, northeastern U.S. species. Everything I can think of that I hunt is there. Which it makes it that much more sad. Oh, rough grouse. That's a good one. I take your answer and I make it my own. That's a perfect answer. Well done. Best guns for deer and Wade Hunter. Uh, I'd get the 30-06. The, um, the 1903 from the Remington DLC, which is free, by the way. That thing is a cannon. Bigfoot? That's that's a good idea. Have you ever been out of the country in real life? No. One of these days, I'm sure it'll happen, but... I have been much more outside the state. In the past, I'd have said I've barely left PA, but just in the last seven months or so driving all around. Are you going to do a moose grind on Yukon Valley? Kyla's been doing a little bit of moose grinding over there and she's had some success so we'll see but I intend to stick to Layton. Almost kind of how it was when we did the Quattro Red Deer grind. Quattro wasn't the best map but it was like a matter of principle almost at that point that I wanted to get it there. Where is this male? Oh we spooked him okay. Ain't no great one track, so it's all good. Oh. What's up, B-Fries? Thank you for the five months. Five months oh. already? That doesn't calculate in my head, because I swear Twitch was just three months. Maybe something was screwed up, but either way, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. You're a PA person, too. Nice. Representing out here. All right, we got two small lads. We should get closer. I'm just worried about the angles, but we'll do it. Did you know Flinter can't carry all the shopping bags into the house in one go? Small mail. I mean, you're not wrong, but I do have to carry them like 300 feet. Like, you know, we have to go up a bunch of stairs and go downstairs, go across a bridge. It's not like 
That's why I don't go to the gym. <laughs> it's not because I'm lazy. <laughs> Been on YouTube a lot longer than Twitch? Guess that makes sense then. Black Tail Deer and SRP, they don't fit perfectly either, but again, it's almost like, you know what? Just put them on there, it's alright. Uh, Brandon Holly with the six months as well, welcome back. Good to see you once again. How tall are you again, 6'7"? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if only I'd hit my head on the doorways in this house. This house was built in 1933 or something. Long ago, and it was definitely not for tall people. I'm for PA2, I do a lot of deer and turkey. Do you do much small game hunting? I'm 12 foot 12? Yes. Aren't blacktail a subspecies of mule deer? Yes, they are. Have you killed any five balls yet? None yet? It, it, honestly, Leighton has blown my mind. I don't get how we could have killed this many moose. I mean, we're... By the end of the stream, we'll be over 1,200. Last week, we were at like 11.05 when we started. I'd imagine we killed right about 40 moose. So that put us at like 11.50. By the end of the stream, we should be in that 1,200 area. No rare bulls. That's nuts. And like two diamonds. <laughs> Might be more than that, but not many. There's a bull down there, too. Let's try to get closer. Do a little bit of squirrel and rabbit. Not bad. That's about all the small game hunting I've done. I've never done much like, you know, grouse or pheasant or anything like that. You can practically taste the great one. Insert Patrick gif. What direction did that thing go in? All right, you figure that out. We're going to shoot this other moose. Only problem is there's not much to hunt in Ohio other than big males. You guys got plenty of them. Not a hard shot, but that angle's kind of tough to get hard. Lung will do. A poodle in the truck yard? Is it supposed to be there? Alright, Sir 12, you just sit there, I guess. Was there a dead moose on the other bank? Uh, maybe? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Whose dog is this? Best lake for Sika. You know, I'm not sure I've got a... Oh, there he is. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got a great answer to that, because... They... At first, it seemed like the respawns were broken or something. They didn't seem to respawn well. But then, with the resets and redistributions that occurred, I, I just haven't hunted Sika enough to even know really where they should be. Moose was a floater? Indeed. We did hard shot both of them, huh? My moose crime was only around 1,200 kills with only one rare. In total, Leighton and Medved were about 2,600 now. But Leighton... Leighton will be 1,200 with maybe three diamonds? Something like six trolls. There's been quite a few. And then other than an initial spawn albino cow and a random piebald cow that showed up when Kyle and I were murdering everything, nothing. Is 107 kills super rare for a white tail great one? As in, like, is it uncommon to get one that fast? I would say yes. Um, the average seems to be in the area of, like, 1,500 for them. Maybe a little lower. Maybe, like, 1,250. People get a lot of great one white tail, but 100 kills is very fast. Go back to Medved. No. I could be convinced. I, st I still have... You should at least check it. I, I think I may have. No, I did, because uh, when I did the loadout video, I was running all around checking it. Because I didn't kill any mees. Anyway, um, I've still got it in my head that I don't think it's a terrible idea to do, like... Every possible map and rotate grinds that way. It would cost a lot of in-game money and it would take you a lot of time to set up and it would also be difficult to keep track of like the ideal run but uh as was it ninja that said that with like a hundred kill great one whitetail instead of having one opportunity to do that on Leighton Lakes I could have say five opportunities to do that between 
New England, Leighton, Medved, Yukon, what am I missing? There's another one, isn't there? Uh, maybe I got them all. Well, however many <laughs> maps have moose. I think that's not a terrible idea to approach it that way. But at the same time, that doesn't mean you're more likely to get it quickly either, so it, it's tough. Sounds like what I did basically except Yukon. Yeah, that's what I was hoping would happen just by coming to Leighton. I was hoping we'd get a really quick, great one that way. Just because we had done a lot on Medved and I was hoping to get it out of the way, but... I don't think it's a terrible approach. What's the fishing like in your part of PA? I mean, as far as like species and stuff, it's a lot of just stock trout. We have native trout streams, that's what Beagle and I fished the other day, and it was a ton of fun, but... I guess if you're, if you're looking for big fish, natives aren't gonna... Native brook trout are maybe 10 inches, usually less. Um, but the, to me, they're way more fun. They hit way harder than a stock trout. They fight harder than a stock trout. Like, once you've landed a stocked rainbow, it can be like 25 inches long. As soon as you've landed, it's like, okay, guess I'm dead. And it just, like, stops. Whereas a uh, native will flip around, do everything it can to escape, even after you've already worn it out and, you know, landed it. I sense you're going to get the great one the next run. That would be pleasant. What's the common range of when people get the red deer great ones? I'm at 23, 23. I like that number. See, I'm starting to lose track of what's normal. I feel like I had thought it was in the area of 2,000 to 2,500. Does that seem right, Mel? What side of PA do you hunt on? I'm in, like, west central PA, so... West of center, anyway. No good fishing spots around here? You never know, there might be a little stream or something tucked away that's a, a decent spot you could run into. What if, like, changing maps, your great one could be on Yukon or New England waiting and you're not hunting it? I, If I understand what you're saying correctly, that's the, one of the things that keeps me from doing it. So are you saying, like, what if by constantly changing maps, you know, you get it to spawn, but then you spend the next three weeks on maps that doesn't have it? I think it'd be cool if the Great One Moose on Yukon would be bigger than the moose on the other maps. That's a, a thing that Kyla talks about all the time, like, map-specific Great Ones, or even just... Your idea is a, a pretty good one, too, like, make them have particular particular characteristics that would make sense for their map. I like it. I just think it would get people on maps. You know what I mean? Like, it'd get people on different maps that you wouldn't really always go to. It would be more motivation to try to get that whatever group you really want and actually, like, work for it. Instead of, like, for right here, you're only doing take because it's the easiest one. For those that do the collect them all approach, I think that would be far better for... Yeah, that's what I think. It should be a challenge, like more of a challenge. Get out of your comfort zone, go on a different map, and try to get a Because I will say, I don't think it would affect anything I do. Because I really only try to go for one, and I typically don't even get that anyway. Yeah. As a Steelers fan, how pissed are you at the changing of Hinesville to Akershire Stadium? It's just the way things go, like, the names get changed and stuff. I wish they would have done, like, Heinz Field at Akershire Stadium. S some places have done things like that. Uh, I think they kept the Heinz ketchup bottles there and stuff, but the reason that it didn't work out was that Heinz is now, like, not a, a local company. So they, I think they didn't give them the hometown discount anymore or whatever. But, yeah, I mean, I still call it Heinz Field. In my head, that's just, it's not even like an attempt to call it by its old name. That's just what I remember it as. Caught up that, uh, we were talking about maybe going to a Steeler game with Kyla's dad when we were down there in Georgia. And I believe I said something about going to Heinz Field. It didn't even register to me that I called it the wrong thing. Sounds like a Pokemon knockoff. Well. I think shiny shinies might be more rare. 
Soup's Sizzler question. If you have to choose between gaming content and IRL hunting content in the future because of time slash success, which will you choose? It depends on how far into the future it is. Because one of the reasons that I've, you know, really tried to go as all in as I have with real life hunting content and, you know, going out of my comfort zone, traveling to other states, hunting in, you know, West Virginia, Tennessee, adding other states to that this year surely, um, is because I assume at some stage I'll reach a point where as I get older, my content might be less relatable to, like, the majority of viewers. That may not be the case. I know, like, I don't know how old Tipsy is, but he's doing really well. Jaxy does well. Um, there's plenty of streamers and, and YouTubers that are still killing it, you know, that are... Like, I'd have to be going for 20 years, I guess, to reach a point where I'd be at that age and have to worry about that. But I don't know when that point comes. Maybe it's when I'm 30. Who knows? So anyway, if I'm if I'm in my 40s, then real life hunting content. If it's next year and things are dire and I got to just focus on one thing, it would have to be gaming content. I would still hunt, obviously, but the content would have to take a hit. Okay, that was rude. <laughs> How dare you? That was the most... <laughs> I'll save you, Mr. President. What is, what is it? Get down, Mr. President. <laughs> Any cool moves in yet? Nothing other than that encounter we just had. Will you ever stop streaming on one platform? As in stop on YouTube or Twitch? I could see a day where I stop streaming on YouTube... And only stream on Twitch and only do videos on YouTube, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. The only reason it would be a maybe is if, like, YouTube streaming goes downhill or whatever. Uh, but the reason that I stream on multiple platforms is, like, if tomorrow YouTube said, hey, we're done, you know, promoting hunting game content. We're just not going to have that anymore. You know, we don't agree with the premise or whatever. I've got somewhere to go and, like, people know where I'm going to be. So where it's not just, like, completely screwed. Also a clip for the channel right there. I like how nonchalant the whole thing was. What's up, Al? Anything cool so far? Uh, other than a cow moose just bodyguarding this bull, which, fortunately, we still got in the end anyway. Nothing to speak of. A couple of nice fours. We had, uh, two big fours at one zone. Got a couple of pretty, pretty nice golds, but... No diamonds, no great ones, no rares. The Broncos kept the Mile High name by naming their stadium and power field at Mile High. But Mile High wasn't an, uh, um, like that, that wasn't an endorsement or like, like, like a naming rights thing, right? Like there's not a Mile High company or, or is there? What'd you think of the draft? I think as far as like the Steelers go, the team I root for, I thought they killed it. I think they're trying to build their team in a similar way to how the Eagles did it, which obviously that has served them well. The draft as a whole, I thought, for the most part, went kind of as expected. Like, the first round pretty much was at least the first, say, 16 picks. Guys went where you thought they would. Got any cool trophies on Classic recently? Um, well, quite literally, we did get a second place trophy for that Red Deer that we killed last week, so that was really cool. Um, been trying to get a Red Deer competition trophy for a while, and that finally happened. As far as the animals themselves, nothing super crazy as of late. I'm trying to think of the last, like, really cool thing we've had. I mean, the albino doe a couple weeks bad on, on Timbergold was good. Can you get a double kill on deer with a nitro? Double kill meaning with both barrels or, like, shooting through a deer? I shoot cows with the LR so they move? Well, apparently if you're, you know in a pinch and they're charging, you can just shoot them in the brain. We found that out last week on stream. I was curious about all the stats and stuff. Got great one bear number two after 1,475 kills. Then two days later, got number three to spawn. What? I missed number three. What fur type was that? If you don't mind, by the way, I'd like to pick your brain about your, uh, 
your good locations because I feel like I'm missing some. Doesn't have to be now, that can be <laughs> at a different time. How was your day? Uh, good. I got to get up early, go turkey hunting. Honestly, I can't believe it didn't work out. And that's not even saying, like, wow, I was so close. Um, last night, I went to see if I could put a bird to roost. And frankly, on that property, it just doesn't happen often. They just don't tend to gobble in the evenings very much. But I heard one. And I, I knew pretty much where it was. I was like, cool. Not the easiest one to set up on, but, you know, I've got a, a point where I can go... I can basically get above it, kind of out around it, set up within maybe 150, 200 yards, and hopefully call him in. He never gobbled this morning. I heard some other ones in the distance. I tried to set up on them. No such luck, but it's always good to be out. And it, I'll tell you what, it's a lot easier not getting a turkey when it's like 60 degrees out than when it's 32. I was freezing last week hunting, but they were gobbling. It was, it was good. What happened to the melon mule deer on Way the Hunter? Um... I need to get back to that. Hopefully, I'm thinking like Wednesday or Thursday, we'll go and hunt Nez Perce again. Hopefully get to age him for a little bit, take another look at him, and then also I'll do the community pool for naming him. Getting six screwed everything up. When I killed a nine red deer the other day, uh, on the other side of the lake rather, it was an albino cow. So you had like a level nine and an albino at the same lake, not bad. Turkeys aren't really moving this year in PA. Last Monday, I they were really fired up. I should have should have killed one. Obviously, like I had a shot and stuff, so can't complain about or can't blame the turkeys anyway for me. But I don't know. I never find that they're super active and stuff. Like I see videos, the hunting public and stuff, the kind of action they get on public land for turkeys, and on private, I don't see anything like what they encounter. I just think our turkeys are. A little different here. I'll put number three in Discord. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. <laughs> His name is Patrick and Arna under the new goat. I get it. The Mellow should definitely be named Batman. That's not a bad one. I'll have to go through and see what the most popular suggestions were again. I know Midnight was on there. Um, somebody recommended Blockbuster. I think that's a cool name. What was the other? There was another like oh shadow was the other one, but I was like nah, we're not gonna we're not gonna hunt something that's also the name of my dog. These people will be very confused. Do you watch Seek One? Uh, I haven't for a long time, only because like it's not the kind of hunting I do, so I can't really relate as much. Showstopper and Blockbuster, see they go together, don't they? Can we name him Kevin? I love the idea of a video title in like three weeks being Hunting Down Kevin the Five Star Melanistic Mule Deer. Nighthawk. That ain't bad. If his blockbuster is gonna die soon? Oh, I get it. <laughs> that that also is sort of fitting. As long as it's not die of old age, which I guess is sort of a blockbuster did. I killed Shadow exactly, right? Call him Dave. Hunting Dave. Have you ever watched Meat Eater? That's probably the one hunting show I've seen every episode of. The Silent Blockbuster. I saw... I forget his name. Now I feel bad. One of the way the Hunter streamers, he named his three melanistic mule deer after, like, real life people named Mel. So it was like Mel Brooks... Mel... Definitely not blunt, but I wish it was. I can't think of the other ones. But anyway, I thought that was a neat idea, too. Do you have a full latent guide with tents and tripods on your channel? And if you don't, will you make one? By latent guide, are you looking for, like, a moose crowning guide on latent? Or just, like, latent hotspots? Because, as is with my map set up for moose crowning, that's a nice one there. Um, Like, all my tents and tripods and such are going to be in weird spots for literally anything but meese. That was funny, they should have named one after you. If you name it Blockbuster, name a Red Crossbow Netflix. <laughs> uh, killing Blockbuster with Netflix. <laughs> oh, that was a weird reaction. Oh, good thing I didn't reload the gun. That would have been, would have been a dumb idea to have bullets ready. 
think that clipped him. It was a weird timing shot. Well, he'll die. I should call him Mel. <laughs> Killing Mel. Mel Black? Maybe. I think that might have been one of them. Can you make a Black Bear grind tent and tripod set up on SRP? Maybe after I look into some better potential locations and stuff, because I'm very convinced I could be doing so much better. How is Leighton Plus? How many kills are you in? Uh, at the moment, we'd be about 1170, 1175 kills in. It's not bad, um, numbers wise. We definitely don't kill a lot of like really good ones. We've seen more like this today than normal, so that's good. But, you know, no fives, no great ones yet. We can start YouTuber beef. <laughs> Zaggy used to want to do that. <laughs> like manufactured. I was like, I can't. I'm not an actor. <laughs> What's your favorite map for Moose? I think it's, well, Medved's always going to have a special, a special Moose place in my heart because of the albino diamond that we killed. Because that animal on the, you know, the snowy background... And just the way it went down, it was particularly because he's albino, I think. You know, another fur type that wouldn't happen, but... He was kind of like half behind some brush, and I saw the antler first. I knew he was the diamond before I knew he was an albino. I'm sure his body just blended in and I didn't realize what was happening. But... Yukon or Medved because Moose look incredible in the snow. Do you mentally keep track of your kill counts for grinds, or is there a feature in game that keeps track that I'm just unaware of? I mean, what you could do is literally every hunt, write down your harvest at the beginning of the hunt, and then at the end of the hunt. If you're shooting some other species in there, you maybe subtract a little bit, but, you know. However you want to do that. I basically mentally keep track. I know that I can get in the area of 20 per hour, which it's been an hour, and if we take a peek, we've killed 20 in the last 42 minutes. So if anything, I'm probably underselling my numbers by a little bit. We may be more like... What, say I'm underselling by five per run, or per hour, and I kill 20 an hour. So that would be 60 hours. I mean, I could have 300 more moves than I think I do, but it, I imagine it evens out. I probably have some runs that are less than 20. Call him Crispy. I think Charcoal was another one. Have you seen Scarecrow Black Bear grind? I know he said something about he only has like two good legs or something, but I haven't seen like what his setup is. Buck killer, that's like um that key and peel thing for the north. What the heck? Not the north. What's the name of that football game? Not the East West Shrine game either. It's something like that. Whatever it is, you know what I'm talking about. Where do you think the best spot for Cape Buffalo is? The entire coast. From like center of the map in the south to center of the map in the north. If you run, say, start in the center in the south, run east, go all the way to the corner, run north all the way up, then west all the way to the center, which is going to take you way more than your drink time. That whole area, there's Cape Buffalo all over. Ember? Yeah. Mm. I, I get where you're going there, but I do see what you mean too about it not being the best for Amela. Biggest musky? I've never even gotten to fish for musky. Ten lakes in my black bear grind that I'm hunting. That's not too bad. I feel like I'm hunting way more lakes and just wasting a ton of time. Smoke? Smoking smoke. What's your favorite great one out of whitetail or red deer? Uh, whitetail for every possible way I can answer that question. Whether you mean, like, of the two I got, or just the animals as a whole. I think the whitetail are cooler. There's more variation in the possible antlers. The whitetail have a possibility to be other fur types as well. The red deer are only ever going to be fabled spotted. Um, I personally... It is nice that the red deer are a guaranteed fabled fur type. Whitetail are the only one that's not, actually. So that kind of sucks, but... I just think the antlers and stuff they did are perfectly done. From smoke to smoked. 
He legally changes his name. That's what I was doing, then just stop hunting the lakes that I hated? I have such a, like, almost like a, a mental block about doing that, because I really try to cover as much of the map as I can all the time. That's just the way that I've approached grinds, but with Black Bear being as they are, hunting them at night, getting to their zones late, I probably should just zero in on certain areas. Was that the one... Clark that had, um... Jimmy G, like, ahead of... I think even ahead of Trevor Lawrence. It was a very weird ranking they did. Yeah, yeah, okay. I saw the same one. If he has any genetic potential and gets good antlers, you should call him the Mela Batman. <laughs> I think the lakes I'm hunting now only have respawns into each other rather than railing popping up at different lakes. I wonder if that's... My opinion is that's going to be map specific. I think that areas of the map, not lakes, but like say regions or however they may approach respawns, I don't know. I think they have a maximum capacity and when you've reached that capacity in other areas, then you get what you're seeing and it's like the animals only respawn back into those places. Because I kind of had that with Fox for a while. Call him midnight because it's 12. You know what? I like what you're getting at there. <laughs> I could call him well done or congratulations, maybe. What is your shotgun you use in real life? For turkeys? I don't even know the exact model. So I had a uh, a Mossberg. Does 535 sound right? I might be off on that. It was a pump shotgun. And. I just always had problems with it. it. Maybe it just didn't agree with the ammo I was using, but it just, I couldn't seem to ever get consistency out of it. So finally, going into last year, I was like, I'm going to try to turkey on a little bit more. I'm going to get a different gun. So I bought a, it's TriStar something. It's a pump shotgun as well. It has like a maximum shell size of three inches, so I can't use three and a half, but honestly, three inches, plenty. And that could sound different. Um, but yeah, I, I don't even know what the model is. 590? It's not a 590. It's something, 5 something 5, I think. Once I got that straightened out, it got way more efficient. I don't get many diamonds or rares, but I don't really care since I got many of those with the first grind. Yeah, exactly. Don't need too many more of them. Back to small males out here. 560? I don't think it's that either. My Stevens takes two and three quarter and threes? That's what mine would be. <laughs> yeah, it could have been could have been better wording there, Buckkiller. Best moose grinder map for efficiency? Probably Medved. I, I think Reventuli could you can make an argument there too. I think that was the map I left out earlier when I was trying to figure out how many maps had Mies. Not about the size, just how you use it. Yeah, you know, if you've got a three inch shell, you might want to get a little bit closer than the three and a halves. Two and three quarter, a little bit closer. You ought to call them mule deer chalky milk. I don't think I will do that. Also start my grind at 22. Yeah, that's what I do as well. Or maybe 21, I think it was 22. <laughs> Personally, oh dear. Uh, since when do you play Call of the Wild? I, I dabble. Dabble? Dabble? It's with a B, right? Anyway, uh, I've got 6,128 hours, so just a little bit. Uh, Sergeant Dill Pickle, thank you so much for the Super Chat. Best Call of the Wild content creator NA. Well, I appreciate the honor of that. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the helpful tips and creating a great community. My pleasure, man. It was... When I got started in YouTube, it was just about, like, you know, maybe sharing cool kills and stuff, but... Somewhere along the way with Call of the Wild, I think it was because I had a hard time, like, understanding it. The biggest thing that I look at to be, like, you know, a successful video or success as far as content creation is that people find that they are learning things and getting to enjoy the game more. Because I really, 
I didn't like it that much at the beginning, to be honest. Until I kind of grasped how diamonds and stuff worked, it just kind of, it didn't feel like a, a game that fit my style or anything. But then when there was something to strive for and things started to make sense and integrity and consecutive harvest and all those things that are no longer in the game, that's when I really kind of like, you know, got into the game and I wanted to allow other people to see that because I don't think everybody could then. Do you think Wet Hunter would ever do an African map? I think so. Did you say which fur you got, by the way, for the third one? I know you have the one I wanted, and I can't even think of the name. Uh, Spirit? Whatever the white, like, white fur with the brown head, and then, like, a speckled or something, or maybe Glacier. <laughs> you tell her, bottom boy. Struggling right now to find animals, I seem to be spooking them. Any chance you're wearing a backpack? If you're wearing a backpack, take that thing off and throw it in the garbage. Um, honestly, backpacks are good for like transporting tripods and, and stuff around when you want to change your map setup, but they're so noisy. They spook animals so much further away. Glacier's cocaine bear. You could argue that uh, Spirit is too. Would you say you prefer Classic or Call of the Wild? What I typically say is, if both games stopped development today, like if, if EW just went bankrupt or something, I don't know, and they came to me and said, hey, we're going to we're gonna keep supporting one game, which should it be? I would pick Classic, because I think the replayability is better there, due to like random spawns and all that. The reason I would say I tend to prefer Call of the Wild more, like in, in the, <laughs> in reality, is because they get consistent content. So you get new guns, you get new animals, new gun skins now is the thing that we're getting. New maps. Classic doesn't get major content updates much anymore, and that definitely makes it tougher to, you know, play on a long-term scale. I still love it, and like I said, the random spawn aspect makes it so that every hunt is so unique. That's something that... I don't think any game has ever gotten as right as Classic did. Darth Vader? What's up, it's audio. What gun are you using and how do you unlock it? This is the 300 canning magnum. You can get it by purchasing the Yukon Valley map DLC, which I know is a little bit annoying because it's a map DLC, uh, aka a little bit expensive for a gun, but if there was ever a gun that's worth like eight bucks in this game, it's this one. Would you ever hunt Africa in real life? I don't know. If, if I could warp there, I think that would be one thing. But the travel and the logistics of it, and there's a side of it for me that I kind of like, I have a hard time wrapping my head around. Like, if I am, you know, going to hunt in Africa and shoot whatever I may want to go after, I don't know how it works. Maybe you could get the meat like somehow shipped to you. I'm sure that would be ungodly expensive to keep it cool and everything. But I do understand that you'd be like feeding the local villages and all that stuff. But there's a weird disconnect there for me where I'm not sure if at that point if I'm just killing for fun and I don't want to ever do that. If I can wrap my head around it to where like that doesn't play into it, I think I'd be more likely to consider it. You know, Soup, I was shooting a bunch of Whitetail at the beginning of this grind, in hopes of that happening, but I've... I just have to focus on Moose, because <laughs> getting too close to a potential summer map. Just unlocked the 7 mil and the Hyperion Scope, but what should I buy next? If you've already purchased those... Uh, I mean, 338's a good purchase, too, as far as base game stuff goes. The Argus Scope, if you want more zoom, is good. The Range Finding Binos, if you don't have them, that's really nice to just know your range, although you do now have the ability to gauge the range when spotting animals. Shot a level 9 Bobcat that troll by .1, that's the worst. Which, um, Rancho Bobcats or New England Bobcat? Don't really want to hunt unless it's for my freezer. Yeah, that that's where I, uh... 
I'm not as sure on that. New England. Wait, what about it? Oh, wait, no, I asked you that. Sorry. Well, that's worse if you don't have one of them anyway, because I don't. That is one that I'd like to get one day. I know they're technically the same thing, but still. Okay, I think we got the right one. That other one jumped in front of the shot, but I think we got them both. Are you using herd management? No. Honestly, I have no idea if it actually affects great ones. I personally think it does. Just based on, like, anecdotal evidence, it seems to me that those that do herd management seem to get more great ones. I would say they probably grind more. They definitely grind more than me. But, uh, it would be interesting to do, like, a real study of, like, all the numbers. The problem is, this is not me saying you can't trust someone that's doing herd management. You also can't trust people that aren't doing herd management to count their numbers correctly all the time. Because everybody does it differently. Some people use the counter app, and theirs are going to be very accurate. Some people estimate, like I do, and we were talking earlier, I... I believe, if anything, I've estimated low. I might have, like, 300 more kills here on Leighton than I realize. But either way, I think it would be interesting to know. But anyway, what I was getting at is... My refusal to use herd management has nothing to do with great ones anyway. It's the amount of diamonds you get along the way. I don't like that. What's up, CBG? How's your moose grind going, or have you gotten it? I was... Very out of the loop for the week that I was sick and prepping and all that, and then away in uh, Georgia, obviously, as well. Because I saw you were shooting a red deer or something again. Do you think there should be more Great One species besides the four they have now? I mean, ideally, I guess, the more the better. Just so long as they're... I can't think of the right word right now. Uh, painstakingly is not what I want, but I'll say painstakingly designed, like caringly designed, not just thrown out, you know, two fur types in one rack. Like, what they've done with Great Ones in the last year, I guess, with Black Bear and Moose in particular, they're moving in the right direction. I think more variety makes them way more special. Like, per individual. The first, who knows, 100 Great One Moose? many of them were like the first time that combination had ever been killed and that's very cool whereas with red deer basically every great one red deer looks exactly alike do you need a special scope to mark animals without binoculars uh not the scope it is a it's a cow there's a skill for that so we go into skills ambusher top of tier two sight spotting that's what you need I killed 5k red deer and still not got a great one. It took me 5,600 kills, so hopefully you're close. Alright, back the other way, because there's other zone. We're going to have to, maybe Friday, because I'm thinking about doing Mies again. I was going to do Revan Tuli, though. We'll see. Um, we got to reconfigure some stuff with this setup, because it is it is now officially outdated in that the Mies have started spawning elsewhere. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Did you watch the last EW stream? No. What was I doing during that? I was probably recording. They stream right about the time I record every day, which does make that difficult. I usually, if I can, like I edit in the morning, and in turkey season this, everything gets screwed up, but normally I'll edit in the morning, and then go and have breakfast, and I usually start recording between like 9.30 and 11, let's say, and I'm done 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, somewhere in there. I think EW streams either 11 to 12 or 12 to 1 here. If you eat yourself, do you become twice as big or disappear? That's a good question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, my moose spawns are recently broken on Medved. I have all the map checked, but still almost no males are spawning. Uh, 4521 kill into the grind, hoping before 5,000. You've really been putting in the time if that's your numbers, because we were close for a while. I've definitely fallen off a bit as far as my recent efforts. Jax just said that something great is coming out of the next stream? 
Interesting to use that phrase because last time they were very intentional about saying something great. Ooh, I don't know where that second shot hit. I felt like there wasn't any room to get vitals. That might have been okay. We'll see. I, uh, I don't have an answer to that one, Soup. AGM is a scam. <laughs> it's gotta work for, for diamonds. That much I'm pretty convinced of. What's up, Andrew? Going good, man. We're, uh... Attempting to get Semi back into the swing of things with the Moose Great One grind. That said, it's probably only going to be streams at least until we get a couple of diamonds from Reverend Tuli. I feel like for geese, we got to be close. I've been killing so many geese on that map. And raccoon dogs as well. I've shot a lot. <laughs> Just no, never seen a nine, never saw a five of the, um, of either goose species. Now we killed a diamond tundra bean goose in early access, but obviously that didn't count, so... Doesn't do me much, much good. What's up, Angie? Love your videos? Why, thank you. Tis greatly appreciated. This track? No. Gotta be here somewhere, because the last moose we spotted. There we go. Very low. Alright, Sir 12, you figured it out. I'm too tired. If you had all the great ones out right now, which would you get a second of? Or try to get a second of, considering how much I struggle to get the ones to begin with. Uh, Whitetail because there's a, well, eh. Nope, change my mind. Black Bear because there's a multi-mount for that. Whitetail A and Black Bear both have like a... Two of that species multi-mount. I think the two Whitetail fighting multi-mount would be cool, but... I'm very happy with the Great One of Two Super Rare multi-mount we have. That... I liked that it all came from one grind. It was very much like infancy stages of grinding throughout the entire community. And it was funny too, like, we got the two super airs, and at the time it was it was more of a what are you doing? If you want something done right. Anyway, it was more of a like, you know, wow, we've killed so many things now. We're two super rares, where people that grind for super rares currently get way more kills without getting any, and we had two in like, I mean, it was a matter of probably 200 kills, but in total the grind went uh, 1600. Great one line would be cool. Yeah, I think there's some really cool like concepts they could do with it. Is a black water buffalo actually a rare? Seems a bit off, but it's only my second water buffalo. No, the orange fur type is rare. Black and gray, I think, are the two commons. Is not typical an option for Call of the Wild to ever do? I would think so. But it would be... similar to how great ones are done. Like, you'd have your basic frames, much like any true rack, really. You'd have your basic frame shapes, and then different, like, twists and bends and stuff from that, so... You know, truly dynamic non-typicals, probably not, but non-typicals with some variety could be done. Orange is uncommon. I'm pretty sure it's a rare now. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it got changed to a rare. Um, any spots you recommend for wolves? Which uh, wolf species? Imagine a great one, Big Rack, Cape Buffalo. I've been, I've been saying for a while, I think Cape Buffalo will be a very cool great one. I don't think this was my idea to begin with, but what I think could be done is, you know, obviously a larger version of the Cape Buffalo horns, but then hook like a lion skull or something over the end of the horn. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, Kip Man, thanks for coming to a shoes to you. Welcome, welcome. Like your profile picture, by the way. If you are not in the Discord, be sure to join that. Link up your YouTube, get the shoesy roll over there, 
Take advantage of all that good stuff and enjoy the green name and emojis here in chat as well. Best spot for Lesser Kudu. I think it's the coast too, like Cape Buffalo, like the entirety of the uh, eastern coast on the map. But to be fair, there has since been a population reset and redistribution, so if they've moved them, I, I haven't hunted them since then to know. I think people would be able to figure that out, Bottom Boy, and then it would be, you know, just a farming game, kind of. But I always, like, that's why I use the right guns and stuff. I always thought, like, maybe it's a certain amount with the proper harvest check, or maybe it's, you know, some combination of using the right gun and all that. No brain shot this time. What wolf species on Medved? Uh, Grey Wolves. I guess that's what I should have asked, which map, because there's Grey Wolves on several maps. Got my first time in elk this weekend. Nice. Which, uh, which elk species? Would you ever consider coming down to Texas to hunt? I actually did hunt in Texas, like, right as COVID was starting to explode. It was only, like, one day for hogs because we were only out there for three days or something but I technically have hunted in Texas as for like future hunts I don't know if I could definitely if I could definitely find somewhere that's like a no fence place then yes I don't think I want to hunt even low fence I know low fence they can get out or like jump the fence or whatever the right term is but I don't know it doesn't sit right with me Anyway, I don't even see the thing that happened. Uh, Aro, am I saying that right? Thanks for renewing your uh, Shusty membership. I don't know why they didn't come up in my chat. Maybe it did for you guys. Where, oh, where is the blood? Lesser Kudu, for me at least, the coast and the two most northern lakes. Really? I gotta check them lakes then. I'm gonna call you. Well, it might be. Is it Trojan Wow? Is that close? Hopefully, that's close. Thank you for the super chat. A uh, great one, rabbit, but it's a deer sized jackalope. I like it. Also, make it extremely aggressive and unbelievably fast so that it kills you most times. I don't know that people would find that funny, but I'd find it kind of entertaining. Why stop a deer size? Why not T Rex size? You know how when a T-Rex is walking close to you in the Hunter Primal, your screen kind of shakes? They should do that. So Yukon's probably the best map for Grey Wolves? I would say so. Medved's not bad, but I think Yukon's probably better. Got a keel. A nervous keel with that. Was the Roosevelt Dog? Not bad. I do like them. The When they first did True Rex... A lot of them didn't look that good, including some of the diamonds, but since they've like kind of redone the diamond racks, they're quite nice. The big diamond rack could use some touch-ups, but that's okay. Why not make a Brachiosaurus size? Can you imagine a rabbit with a long neck? I don't think that's what you meant, but that's where my brain went. Did you see my Snapchat from yesterday evening? I don't think I did. I think we were fishing and then I just like didn't open it. I'm really, as you know, terrible about that. That's not a bad one. Two fours. Two fawns. Why not give it a long neck since it has the size? I mean, it's already a fictional or... Fictional is kind of the wrong word. What category would a jackalope fall under? Not fictional, really. Didn't get the lung on that guy. Man, we must have had a tree or something, because that felt just right. Second one wasn't bad either. They should add robots? There you go. I mean, it's basically a jackalope. Did no wolf were frozen on Quattro? In multiplayer, it seems like all wolves freeze every time. Mythical 
mystical. Yeah, something like that makes enough sense to me. Do you do much bass fishing? Not as much as I used to. When when I was a lot younger, that was what we primarily fished for. Growing up, like from the time I was maybe like 13 till, I don't know, how old you, they consider kids, I think 18. We belonged to a sportsman's club that for the first month of trout season was kids only, like only kids, I want to say people under 18 could fish there. So we would fish there and like do some trout fishing, but even during those times, a lot of times we'd just fish for bass and then my uncles have a farm pond that's got some nice bass, so we used to do a lot of that, but now I mostly trout fish. And it certainly helps that we have a creek that runs through the yard here, but... Usually if I get my pick, that's what I go after, but... Having caught a thicken down in West Virginia with Bottom Boy does make me want to go this summer. Here in what, like two, three weeks they had to start spawning? At least here? Hello. Wait, don't do it. No. Oh well. Wait. We hit a cow one of those signs. That might be what kept our second shot from... So this is the bull? It still looks like... I don't know if there was hunting pressure there, but it looks like we killed two, so I'm gonna hope he's dead. I set up a moose guy on lead, but I can't bring myself to lead the bear. If you're getting him, I don't blame you. Out of curiosity, I'm sure you said this is the first room I've ever caught. Uh, well, welcome on in. I think you were asking about my age, right? Uh, Kyle answered that. I'm 12 at heart, though. The Brachiosaurus-sized jackalope kills you by biting you in two. Got, like, big buck teeth on it. I think that works. What's the weapon of bullets that we're hunting the moose with? We've got the 300 canning magnum. You can get that from the Yukon Valley DLC. The bullets, I mean, it's the polymer tip 300 rounds. These guys right here. What's up, I'm Plur. First time in a live walk. Come on in, man. Hope you enjoy your stay. We've got about 30 minutes to go with this one. Great one, Roadie, but it just has two... Ginger roots sticking out of his head? Oh, ginger roots. Oh, I'm so stupid, man. Sorry. <sighs> so, like, the, uh, what do they call them? Wig racks or whatever? That's what you're getting at? About to hit up Stillbridge Peaks for some plain spice. Nice. I miss hunting SRP in the daylight. Every now and then we do it, it's like, oh my god. Trees, fields, I can see it all. All these bears at night. If I only knew what I was getting into, I'd have hunted... I wouldn't have cared, I'd have done bear content for four months straight. We'd have only hunted bears till we got a great one bear, if I knew how much more challenging it was going to be. Alright, where would be... We should check here, we haven't been here in a while. Just got an albino brown bear that made gold, nice! This is still one of my favorite maps, same here, I love this map. I've said it before, it's... It's weird to describe, but something about great one grinding almost... It almost gives me, like, anxiety. It, it's because... To be as efficient as possible, which is the goal, obviously. You have to be always on your game, like... Every shot that's not a hard shot costs you time. Every shot that's not a vital shot costs you a lot of time. All those types of things factor in. There's something about Leighton that just kind of, like, was a calming force. When I started the grind here. It was at night and you thought it was a blonde? My last albino was before they changed the uh, the textures and stuff, so they weren't nearly as obvious. I thought my last one was a uh, blonde as well. Good luck with the grind, thanks, JC. It hops to you, and you can feel its footsteps from anywhere on the map. And if you fall into the tracks of the Mega Jackalope, you have to fast travel out of it. Oh, <laughs> it leaves like cater size, cater crater size tracks. It caters. Uh, Texas Roadhouse to you? Is Texas Roadhouse cater? Probably not. Got my first Melanistic the other day, just a silver fallow, but Melanistic fallow look really cool. 
definitely a good first mellow to get. I don't know what my first mellow was. Let me think. Albino and Piebald were both elk. We had Piebald Cow Elk and Albino Bull Elk. It's probably a Kudu. Because the Kudu Melanistics were over spawning for a long time. How do you feel about the Steelers this year? I love all their moves this offseason. I think they're likely to win 10, maybe 11 games. They could end up at 9-2, but based on their schedule, if they split with the AFC North, like I kind of expect them to maybe sweep the Browns, I could see them sweeping the Ravens too, because Lamar doesn't always play well against the Steelers, but we shall see. Anyway, this year I think they get into the playoffs, maybe win the wild card, and then get knocked out. I think 2024, they've got a real shot at winning it all, though. they got a little more team building to do, give Kenny some more experience and all that and I think they go all in because then they're gonna have to pay him if he is as good as they hope he is and I don't know I watched I don't know I'm assuming you're a Steeler fan as well <laughs> that, that's quite an assumption to make but um on their YouTube channel they did a site sights and sounds for all of 2022 it's an hour-long video and I was watching it and it was the first game that Kenny Pickett played he was in that Jets game he had a throw where he just stood in the pocket took a shot and just threw a seam to, I think, Friar move. It was like a 15 or 20 yard pass that got him into the red zone. It was literally that throw where I was like, this dude's, this dude's a gamer. I think we got a quarterback. And I'll be curious to see if I'm right, you know, down the road, but he had the it factor to me. What'd you do before your channel? Well, I started in high school, so not a lot. Um, you know, as far as like, I guess you're asking about jobs and stuff. I worked on a farm, a pretty local farm for like, I started working there when I was 14 or 15. So obviously that was under the table, like five bucks an hour cash. That was not a lot of money for all the labor, but is what it is. Um, then after that, I worked in the dish room at the college that I attended. And I actually quit that job to pursue YouTube full time when I then dropped out of college. It was quite the quite the deal dropping out. Good luck, got some errands. Uh, sounds good, Tuck. Hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Appreciate you stopping in. I just had that lad spotted. Where'd he go? Wasn't there, was he? There he is. Did old McDonald own it? I think so. Old Ralph McDonald. Is it not good to have a backpack equipped while hunting? No, uh, they just make so much noise. Like if you want to basically crouch around nonstop to hunt, it will work. You're still not gonna be able to call things super close with it. Um, I I never hunt with a backpack on. They just, they do more harm than they do good. Are you hunting mooses? Indeed, many mooses. No worries, JC. When is the next stream? The next stream of any kind is going to be Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern over on Twitch. We'll be streaming Classic. Um, I felt like... Oh, no. Cl the classic thing in my head is the 8-year uh, on YouTube video I gotta do. Never mind. Don't know what we're doing for that stream just yet. How hard is it to start a YouTube channel? It's very easy to start a YouTube channel um, if your goal is not to grow a YouTube channel, if that makes sense. What... <laughs> I think one of the biggest obstacles for people growing a channel, like let's say, because there's some things you got to have, I think, to have success. Either you got to have like unbelievable skills at, at games that are popular. Uh, Shroud's not a good example of this because he also has a great personality, but obviously he has the skills. Um, but you don't have to have the personality if you have the skills. If you have both, that's even better. Uh, but if you don't have, you know, insane skills at one particular game, then personality is everything. So what I'm getting at is, let's say you have one of those two things, or somebody does have one of those two things or both. One of the biggest hurdles is if they get into it hoping to make money and hoping to have like millions of subs and stuff, when those don't come in the first year or two years or three years, often they'll just give up because they think it's not gonna happen there's a lot of patience and stuff involved. Like when I, 
I said earlier in the stream, I started making YouTube videos because I wanted to share cool kills in Classic. Like, I wasn't trying to make it a job, I wasn't trying to get a lot of views, I wasn't trying to have a bunch of subs, it was just kind of like, hey, I shot a piebald hog, let me make a video about that. Um, so if you go into it with that mindset, I think it's very easy to start a YouTube channel because any growth of any kind is a success, and then I think you can approach it properly in terms of improvement. You should always be working to improve like a thing, whether it's your editing, whether it's your recording, whether it's your thumbnails, something like that. But if you're so worried about like, man, I gotta, let me, let me put it this way. If you make a video because you think it's going to get a ton of views, that might not be the ideal thing to do. Now you can make money doing that. People do it. Uh, it does work, but I think there's no passion behind it. How do you set up tents without making your bag too heavy? Um, I have a, uh, do I still have it? I had a tents and tripods loadout preset. I think I still have it, so I should be able to show you what it looks like. What's up, Bryson? Welcome on in, man. Do you think they'll announce the new map tomorrow? It feels early to me. As far as EW's typical release schedule for maps, we should still be like six weeks away. Normally, like New England, if I remember right, I don't know if we had clues or not. But I want to say, New England got, like, revealed, and then there were maybe two EW streams showing it off, and then it came out, like, the next week or something. Personally, I enjoy watching people for personality over content. I could care less if you're the best player at that game. That's the type of content I tend to watch. But I also, like, I haven't been interested in games that require, like, a high level of skill in... Like, three or four years? Rocket League was the last one. And I actually didn't watch a ton of that, because that was actually, if you weren't at the top level, and you start trying to do stuff the top level people do, usually that just made you lose games, so I didn't didn't watch that either. Revantui was May 10th last year? Mm, nah, that can't be right. June... Or are you talking about the reveal? That maybe, that would make more sense. Let me take a peek here. I have to scroll a minute. But I... I would guess... Actually, I know. Because TK had... Uh, streamed it. I have a video... This is early access. Da -da -da, full reveal. What? Hi. I should have had a thumbnail with a black grouse on it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you might be right. This video came out May 17th, so maybe a little bit later. And maybe they could reveal it then, that seemed early to me. Although, I guess we had a week early access too. That does kind of start to add up. What's up, Ryder? Uh, nothing to speak of so far. We've killed a lot of moose, like, definitely encouraging as far as numbers go, but no special ones at all. What caliber do you hunt with in real life or in game? Uh, I don't want to be pushy or anything because you're so great and all, but can you shoot that great one already? I guess. I've been trying to push the suspense for the last, you know, six months or whatever it's been, but I guess the gig's up. I kind of thought that was a bull, but maybe not. Anyway, that doesn't sound like a bull. Any diamonds yet? None this stream. Is that when they start pizza or end? Settlers Creek. It's funny that I like that map a little bit now. It's probably because I no longer am hunting Whitetail on it. You know, pizza, it would almost be believable because of how terrible my luck is. Like, as far as the amount of not big males we kill all the time. You would think I've got, like, 12 great ones on my map. And at numerous points throughout this grind, like when I've gone, say, 500 without a diamond or 6, 700 without a diamond, I don't remember how long we went. It was a long time. Anyway, 
I would get to a point where I'm like, there's a great one or something on this map. I just gotta go find it. I'd run around to literally every spot, check tracks, you know, try to spot in the distance. Nothing. It's just nothing good here. Do an IRL great one grind. I think you could do that in Georgia, the amount of dough tags you get. How about you do they're all on New England mountains? Oh yeah, I spend so much time there. Used to uh, mainly hunt it for turkey and elk. It's a very good elk map. It's also been very not kind to me. I've had two different 394s there. And that other uh, 384 or something we got recently. How many great ones have you seen? Uh, I still think, as far as, like, actually spot the animal, technically three, but it was only because... I like this story. It was it was very entertaining. Um, so, Great One release day. June, not June, April... Whatever 45 days b before June 10th of 2020 was. Anyway, um, Great One's come out. And everybody's super excited, you know, this is going to be a new, really fun thing to hunt for in Call of the Wild. Everybody's, you know, all excited about it. And everybody's watching the Discord communities and everything to see what's going on. So, I'm doing my thing. I think I streamed that morning. I'm running around, trying to shoot Whitetail, trying to find Whitetail. And this guy's, like, he posts, he, you know, he got one. Got another one. I just got another one. Another one. He posts four, and then, like, a little while later, he's up to eight. And I'm like, man, what did EW do? Like, they screwed up the spawning of these things. I don't know how come I'm not finding one. So finally, it kind of becomes apparent that something's going on here. He's in multiplayer. So I joined the game. I think Psycho did too, because he's uh, he does, like, IT work and stuff. So we thought it might be intelligent for him to join and see if there was anything fishy going on. But anyway, I don't remember if, if the hose of the server recognized me or why the conversation came up when I was there, but the guy basically said, I spawned a hundred great ones on this server to prove that I could do it. Because I think at the time, I want to say this was kind of aimed at Zaggy and I both. We both didn't think it was actually possible to like mod animals in or something like that. We were told that, in fact, by EW because they would stream and like, you know, a new thing would come out. And they would say, like, we can't actually spawn things in. It's not possible. I believe that's where the whole thing stemmed from. But anyway, yeah, a guy spawned, like, a hundred on a map. And I did go and see one of them because I joined the server to be like, what is going on? I wasn't going to kill it, but I did see it. Anyway, that was a long story to tell you I saw three and not just the two I've killed. Three thousand or so whitetail kills, then they change where the whitetail drink. I still have never moved my tripods on Layton. Yeah, I, I understand it. All that time put in, then you have to re like start over, restart over. How do you feel about population scanners? I think that is as close to cheating as you can get. I guess that is cheating, right? That's bringing in outside software to help you hunt. So yeah, straight up cheating. Never mind. Not to flex too hard, but I got my third great one bear yesterday. If you're getting great one bears, you should flex. That is, in my opinion, that's the only one that's really held its value for longer than, like, a month. How long have Great One Bears been out now? Almost a year, and they're still, I think, by far the most special Great One. 100 Great Ones? They ain't so great when there's 100. No, man, it was, it was something, I, like I said, I only saw one, but it was something to see somebody just do that just like spawn in a hundred in multiplayer just let people run loose on him he wasn't killing them maybe he killed one or two but it was other people in the game that were just whisking them up been playing the hunter call the wild for two years and only have four diamonds i wouldn't say that's like terrible by any stretch it depends on how much you're playing too like how many hours you're putting in and all that you think you'll ever go back to Rocket League? I'm no. I'm getting too old to be able to be mechanically on par with the top level. 
And what would bug me is like, because I, I was able, I forget what season, but within about a year of playing, I was able to get to Grand Champ. And I was up in like the 1700 MMR area, if you're familiar with Rocket League MMR. And if it still works that way, I don't know. Um, and I could maintain Grand Champ by putting in 50 hours a week, something like that. I think I would need to put in at least that many hours now. I don't have that many hours to put in, and it would just bug me to not be able to have the highest possible rank. So, for that reason, and for the fact that it did make me ragey sometimes, and I don't need that, uh, I stay away from pretty much any competitive game at this point. I would feel so deflated if I found something amazing on multiplayer and then realized it was modded. I've never had anything incredibly special have that happen. Like, I've had plenty of diamonds and stuff where I'm, you know, I maybe I shoot it or maybe just on the way to it I spot like five other diamonds and realize what's going on. But I can't think of any like great ones or super rares or... I did have a diamond fox um, when I was still looking for a diamond fox. Found one in multiplayer, super hyped, only to realize that there was a level 3 big rack diamond moose beside me, and then I knew. Aren't you in your 20s? I'm 25, but, uh... I mean, dude, the best Rocket League players are like 13, because their reflexes are ridiculous. And I was never super mechanically sound anyway. The main reason I was able to maintain, like, Grand Champ level was because I didn't go for flip resets and crazy stuff. Like, I could air dribble, I could do... I don't even remember the name of stuff anymore. I was mo I was better at uh, ground dribbles and mind games and all that good stuff. But anyway, um, it was mostly just staying in position that allowed me to do well. And I, I, from what I've seen of the game, because every now and then I'll check in on the pro scene and see what's going on, I don't think that's enough. I think you have to have insane mechanics now to maintain top level. Rocket League gives you vertigo? Have you... I don't know how much you've attempted to play, but adjusting camera settings could do a lot for you. Hundred percent with you on the reaction times. I'm also 25 and I can't play COD anymore. Yet, like... I feel like I could play casually and be fine. But I'm just too competitive with stuff like that. And I'm better off just not doing it. You know, I, I find different outlets for my competitiveness, whether that's, you know, a lot of times it's competition with myself, like trying to best something that I've done or try to get that next diamond that I don't have or whatever. Every now and then, like, I think September of 21? No. Man, it can't have been September of 2022, though. We were in this house. I know that. And Kyla was here. But I didn't buy Madden. Oh, you know what it could have been? It may have been very early 2022. Because I think... One of my friends got like a super cheap key of Madden or maybe won one of the giveaways and gave it to me. So I played that for a while. And that like kind of scratched that competitive itch. But then I felt to coming back like annoying things happened. It was one of the reasons I stepped away from Madden and got into Rocket League. Because Rocket League didn't have the random computer letting you down. Like your defensive back deciding to just suck at the wrong time or whatever. But anyway, yeah, I felt the, the rage coming and just backed off of that. Officially a pro gamer? Holy! Grand Champ isn't the top anymore? Yeah, they have... I forget what the ranks are, but... I don't know how the MMR works. I think I would still be what the top rank is now if the MMR is the same. I was able to do okay with, like, low-level pros. Not like carry or anything. But I wish I had the guy's names. I'm sure I have a screenshot of it, but it would be on my old PC. There was, like, an RLCS competitor. He, I want to say he was maybe RLCS Season 2 or 3. And I played against him. Him and, like, somebody he was in comms with, and I was just with a random. And it was, like, the coolest compliment I ever got. He was like, you're the best twos player I've ever seen. I was like, I'm not. I had a very good game, <laughs> but that's kind of cool. Because, obviously, he's got the RLCS tag and stuff. 
But anyway, I actually was not bad at Rocket League. I think I could be top rank if that was the only thing I did. Well, and take three or four years off my aging. Melophezin is a huge flex. I want a Melophezin. They are so cool. When will a new map come out? If EW follows their typical release schedule, the end of June. What's your favorite map? This one right here, Leighton Lakes. Oh, that's a big male back there. There's a five. He might make it. He's not even though, which is not a good sign. Do you have any rare slash expensive cosmetic items from a long time ago in Rocket League? I actually got a white Octane, um, but I didn't play Octane, I played Dominus, which some of you guys that are hearing me say that I was as decent as I was might think that's insane, but I did. Uh, so I traded the white Octane for like white Dracos and something else. I couldn't even tell you what I have anymore though. Been so long since I played, you know? Five is a five? It is. I think he's wide set enough that he's got a chance at it. Up to 298 is encouraging. He do be dead. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna try to save this by fast traveling here. He should have turned. I don't know why he didn't turn and face us. Alright. Where's he at? He's the last one there? Okay, that must have been a hard shot. I don't know what happens, but fast traveling seems to make them slow down a minute. They put white octane in item shop. Really? I remember that used to be like the thing. Were there keys in Rocket League or something? When I got it, it wasn't like as rare. I sold it for 75 keys and then got the white Draco, I believe. Oh yeah, keys opened the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Anyway. Eh, I don't like the odds with the brow tie combo here. Ah. Three shy. Add it to a list of... I don't even know how many trolls. Six, seven. Anything good? Just a troll. Man, it's 457. We can jump to one spot, then we're about done. The way he dropped like bro's neck is gone. Dude, I don't know what... It's vital blood. Had to be heart. It could have been neck, but I don't think we're that far back. Or that far forward, rather. No, it was a right long shot the first time. Just, I don't know how. Couldn't do that again if I tried. And then just liver and lung, and he had dropped enough already from the initial shot that he was nearly dead. Well, it looked cooler, and it's a cooler story if it was a hard shot, but... It is what it is. Seven thousand kills. I know. I feel like I'm not even deserving of one, but I feel like I've been on a long grind, and I guess my total is like twenty six hundred or whatever. But Mel at seven thousand kills and not having one—it's just like I'm glad she got one before me. Let me put it that way, because I definitely did not earn it yet. You want to wait like two minutes and then bark? That'd be good. We'll all say it's a hard shot. That's what I saw, right? Said heart. Sound like I'm playing football. Said heart. Anyway. I look back at the shot, his neck went lip. Yeah, he, he like, it was like his front legs came out from under him, too. Hunting a diamond Gensbuck right now. Nice. Hope you get him. 17k for my red deer, and I never want to see red deer again. That's one of the worst I've ever heard of. I know, I think LC went to 13, but there have since been some questions. So I don't know how legit all those grinds were. How do you know how many kills you've got of a specific animal when you're grinding? I just keep track in my head. I know some people... Hello? Where? What if it's a great one? Imagine that. Where are you? Oh, you're not a great one. Rude. Anywho. Um, some people use like a counter app or like tally marks or whatever. I just kind of keep mental track of how many we've gotten and do it that way. But there's no in-game stat to do it. The only thing you could do is before every hunt, you could look at your total harvest and then 
you know, do the math that way after the hunt and check. Can the roe deer have albino or mellifer types? Yes, it can have both. What's your highest score on red deer? It was that one we got on Hirschfeld, and it's a high 267. I've never gotten a really big one. Diamond 4? Nah, he had that 240s rack. I try to kill with a single shot and track my ammo count to judge my kills. I did that with a red deer, and it was a little more effective. I do too many double shots on moose because I think it's because the grind's so slow. Like, I'm normally getting 10 per run, maybe 12 per run, which still evens out to over 20 per hour, which is better than I was doing with whitetail on that great one grind, so it makes me feel like I'm at an okay pace. I know I'm nowhere near what some people get, but be that as it may, um, I, I have an easier time counting that. I figure 20 per hour and, you know, maybe add a few here and there because it's normally like 25 an hour. I envy people with good memory. I feel like I have good memory for irrelevant things. Like, I'll be able to recall, you know, the date of a certain diamond I killed or the exact score. Or, you know, I could tell you the entire story of how I found insert random diamond. But, you know, I can forget that I got a... What was the one? Oh, I know what it was. Um... I was supposed to... I was supposed to, like, call and check on when I could go and get fertilizer or something. Because I have talked about it on stream a good bit, but we're doing some, like... Call it upgrades to the property to try to have some better deer hunting this fall. And just completely forgot about it until, you know, it was too late and my brother had already checked around and found places. Like, important stuff that I'm supposed to do, I can never remember. Anyway, on that positive note, at least we found a five today. He did troll, but many do. Probably, well, let's see. We killed at the exact same pace. No, it was 42 minutes last time, 48 minutes this time. So I'd say we killed right about 50 mees. That would put us right around 1,200 here on Layton. 12-12 maybe is when he shows up. That would be the way. Anyway... On that note, that is going to do it for this stream. As always, thank you guys for hanging out today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Good to be getting back to streams, getting into the swing of things, and being able to talk again is quite nice, too. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video over on a two-map hunt, Revan to the Coast and Rohunka Savannah. Bye!